my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. So today guys, before I start, I'm going to set my timer for 10 minutes on my phone. Okay, so uh, let's do this. Right, so before I start guys, I'm going to say two things. I'm going to say that it is extremely warm today where I am and I am, I struggle with the heat really bad. So if I keep touching my face or my hair, it's because I am sweating and I'm, you know, feeling all gross and I'm just trying to make it feel better and the second thing is that I slept for two hours last night I'm struggling with really bad insomnia as of lately so please ignore these little dark baggies of my friends that have come to visit me so guys and the third thing is that I do not apologize if I make an absolute show of myself in this video um this is completely unscripted this is completely unedited and today I thought I wanted to do the strip down challenge which is pretty old on YouTube now and I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of it but basically what it is is it's a challenge and it's where you sit down with no makeup you've no edits you've no cuts you've no um music no color correction no script no nothing so you just it is just real raw bare footage and I really want to do this video because I feel like it is a video that really resonates with my channel a lot, if that makes sense. Because I, as you guys know, like to keep things as real and as raw as possible on my channel. And I try to um, do that as much as I can. So I thought that this might be a video that you guys would really enjoy or it would mean, you know what I mean? You might take something for, from it or whatever. So. This is what I'm going to be doing today and I have no idea what I'm going to talk about. I am so freaking nervous right now. I actually feel like I may have a panic attack but <laughs> it's all good right. I'm just just talking to my friends. So if I start to not make a lot of sense or I mix up on my words or I lose my train of thought I'm going to go like that or something which I normally leave in on my videos anyway but you know what I'm saying. So the whole point of this challenge, I'm nearly sure it was made up by a girl. I think her name was Esther O'Neill. I'm nearly sure, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm probably wrong. Um, and the whole point of the challenge was that she made it was because social media basically consumed her. As it does, in my opinion, with at least 95% of us, which is shocking if you actually think about it that we have become so consumed and so reliant on social media now that I actually feel like a lot of us wouldn't be able to actually live without it which is really scary to say but I just feel like this challenge was such a great idea to come up with because <clears throat> it was obviously going to be a, like people with followings or whatever doing it and I think it just shows that we all feel like right we have to do certain things and like we have to look a certain way we have to be so thin and we have to eat a certain way we have to have certain types of friends you know what i mean like we have to wear a certain makeup whatever all these things we feel like we have to do to be accepted and to fit in and be liked and all that and i feel like this challenge tag just shows the real side to people and the truth like what goes on behind closed doors because nobody is perfect and as much as everybody's lives look pretty perfect on social media they're not and I know we know that but I don't think we remind ourselves enough of it and I feel like we are way too hard on ourselves with it all because everything that we are looking at isn't real like every photo we see majority of them have been adjusted in one way or another whether it be filtered edited you know color corrected the brightness the contrast whatever it has been altered to look better and but that is not the real world and that is not reality and it is not everyday life and this just shows that at the end of the day no matter who you are that we all 
come down and we are all the exact same thing at the end of the day we're all real people we're all only human and we all have feelings and none of us can live up to these crazy expectations that we as society have set for ourselves and we have set the standards so bloody high that nobody can even try and live up to because it's just crazy expectations and we can't do that because we're not robots and no no see here's Jesse getting a bit see also when I feel really passionate about something I get I can get like real you know what I mean about it like I get angry about it nearly when I really start to think into it and especially when I'm talking about something I'm really passionate about it makes me realize just how passionate I am and I get angry to the world and I'm like so yeah right and another thing actually I thought I would let you guys know in this video is I don't think I've mentioned it on my channel yet um but I am actually going to Summer in the City this year with my sister Melanie Murphy and we are going to be doing a meet and greet together which is super exciting because this is going to be actually my first proper event where I'm going to be doing a meet and greet, a proper one. So if you guys are around and would like to come to Summer in the City and get tickets or whatever, I would absolutely love, love, love to meet some of you guys because you guys don't understand like how much I appreciate every single bloody one of you guys and how much love I have for you all like I don't think you guys don't realize how much YouTube has changed my life and not in some drastic way you know what I mean or way you might think but in a way where before YouTube I felt so worthless. Oh my God, I can get emotional. Oh no. I felt like so worthless and I had such little confidence in myself because like the years previous, like I had a lot of really hard knocks, if that makes sense, you know what I mean? And like ever since I've started YouTube, I feel like I have a purpose. <laughs> like these are happy days okay these are happy days I feel like I have a purpose now and you guys just make me feel so amazing and like the feedback you guys give me and it's just so much unconditional love which is the exact same love that I have for you guys and I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing without you guys and I have gained so much confidence since I've started YouTube. Um, I can't even explain to you. Like before I started YouTube, oh my God, it would be so hard for me to leave the house where I make up on. Like I would, I, I would, I couldn't do it. Like I would so rarely do it. Whereas now I go out more without makeup on than I do which I know is such a little thing it sounds like because my skin is so good now but my skin used to be awful and it's just little things like that which now are nothing to me but they're, they, they're so important to me because these things wouldn't have been possible if I wasn't able to sit down and chat to all you guys who actually give a damn about what I have to say, which I never imagined in a million years that I would have like 1,000 followers, let alone nearly 50,000 of you guys have clicked subscribe to me. Like, I can't even get my head around that. And, oh my God, why am I still crying? I'm so sorry, like, I'm just, like, this is happiness, but I just don't think I could ever explain to you guys or thank you guys enough for being there for me and for letting me be myself and for loving me for that because I love each and every one of you guys so much so unconditionally and I just want you each and every one of you to have the happiest life possible and I know right the storm has to always come before it. the sun can fucking shine and that is true and I I tell you that from experience I promise you that and I'm not like I know when people say that and you're like oh fuck off like yeah a load of crap 
But seriously, if you told me two years ago that I would be feeling this way and I would have so many of you guys in front of me that actually cared, I'd be like, fuck off, like, would you stop talking crap to me, you know what I mean? The timer has gone off and Jessie is still crying, oh for fuck's sake. Right, so I'm not done, right? There was something else I wanted to tell you guys about, okay? So we, so next week I am going on holidays. I'm going on holidays on Saturday. Well, okay, so Saturday night, today's Tuesday. And Saturday night at like two o'clock in the morning, we're leaving for the airport. And my flight's at like six on Sunday morning. So I'm actually going on holidays with my best friend and this is going to be the first time I've ever gone on holidays with not a family member so the first time I've gone on holidays with a friend or anything and which is super exciting and super nerve-wracking but more exciting and I've I know I've only been out of the country like three times I'm making this sound like it's something bigger but it's not but um yeah and I'm going with my best friend and we're going to Amsterdam and yes I have been in Amsterdam before but let me just explain this to you guys that okay so I wouldn't say I was in Amsterdam I would say I was in a hotel in Amsterdam a studio in Amsterdam and a street okay so I didn't get to do any of the things that I actually wanted to do when I was in Amsterdam I didn't get like I wanted to go on the boat on the canals like the boat trips canals I wanted to go to Anne Frank's museum I wanted to go to the ice bar I want like I want to do all these things like see the answer down the big thing that everyone gets a phone in front of like I wanted to see all these things and I didn't I was only on like one street in Amsterdam and we literally just got food and went back to the hotel so and I really liked the vibe I got off Amsterdam like I really liked it it was real chill vibe it was kind of reminding me of Ireland I think that's why I really liked it like it wasn't like a major it wasn't like you felt like you were worlds away from home if that makes sense like it felt really homely to me and I another thing that's really important to me is the weather because as I said there I really struggle with the heat like I don't like the heat well the heat in Ireland is real dead sticky dry heat and it's really not nice so and um what was that sorry Amsterdam is weather is pretty similar to Irish weather so it's going to be like pretty breezy and like you know what I mean like a bit of rain like so it's going to be like what I know so you know what I mean I'm really excited and I'm going to get to do all the things that I really wanted to do I'm with my best friend and she's always wanted to go to Amsterdam as well and she's going on a sun holiday in August anyway so we're like it makes sense you know if we go somewhere that's still in Europe and all so I'm super excited about that. I'm going to be staying for six nights and I'll be back late on the following Saturday. But don't you guys worry, I will have videos for you guys. I will, I'm going to be like having them scheduled ahead of time. But I am like really stressed about everything because I have so much to do in the next few days. It's crazy. And I'm like working on Saturday morning from eight to three. And then my flight is at two in the morning. So I feel like I'm just going to be running on adrenaline and I'm not going to sleep. And then we we have agreed to stay up all day Sunday. So you know what I mean? We'll get back into our routine and we'll have a good sleep Sunday night. But I feel like I'm just going to drop, like actually drop at one stage on Sunday. But we'll see how it goes. I won't be, I've decided I'm not going to actually vlog Amsterdam because I want to actually have a holiday um, where I can relax because I daughter, I went to Florida and all and Amsterdam last year and it was just full-on go all the time you know what I mean we didn't get two minutes to ourselves it was like you know all to do with YouTube and all so I want to just be able to have an actual holiday with my friend and be able to relax and not stress or worry about it you know what I mean but I will be posting loads on my social media so follow my Instagram snapchat Twitter and all that it will be down below and you will be able to see snippets of my holiday all week and yeah um how long has it been it's been like 15 minutes now right I think that's it guys um please let me know like 
if you enjoyed this video or what you thought and please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed guys because it helps me out so much more than you even realize and please don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't already um, and join our amazing oh, loving family i love you guys so freaking much and i will see you all in my next video thank you so much for watching guys bye bye